Experience all the heart-pounding suspense of this first two-man space probe, traveling more than 71 million astro miles toward Mars. Here are all the unexpected terrors of outer space. Unidentified flying mass, dead ahead. Collision course. Fire main retros. Firing main retros. On the telefeely. The following telefeely program schedule is now available. Channel 1, The Guiding Neon. Channel 2, The Fordian Tabernacle Singalong Hour. Channel 3, General Dispensary. Channel 4, High Holy Orgy Day Services. Channel 5. I'm afraid there's nothing much on right now except the uh, detergio cereals and the uh, syntho religious programs. Maybe you preferred the view. Something different. Uh, seascape. Or whatever you feel like. Oh, what wonders. Is all of this in the other place too, Bernard? Oh, more than this, John. Lots more. John. And of course, the moment I discovered the actual background of the savage, so to speak, I realized that this could be of considerable scientific importance, naturally. Yes, yes, Mr. Marks, I understand the situation. Permission will be granted for you to bring the savage and the woman back here. And I will expect you to give me a full report on the savages' activities and reactions. Yes, Your Fortune. You can count on me to do everything necessary to see that full advantage is taken of the savage. For science, of course. Yes, of course. Thank you, Mr. Marx. Brave New World. Brave New World. Hide your opinions of our society, I take it. You know, your fortune. I don't know who's been telling you things like that about me. That's of no consequence now. You seem to have been making quite a splash with your savage. Oh, it's amazing. People are clamoring. I've received telecalls from some of the most respected people. Everyone wants to know what he's really like. Yes, I'm sure. But for the moment, I'm much more concerned with what he thinks of us. I'm going to leave you in charge of him. But of course, I will require complete reports on everything he does. You understand? Yes, of course, your fortune. So this is the savage. Well, come in. I'm summoned forth. But you'll get to come and see me, won't you? Is that allowed? Oh, yes. That's allowed here. In fact, required. But come along now. You'll have time for that later. Fare thee well at once. Bernard. What's going to happen to him? As a matter of fact, I've just been given full responsibility. Project John Savage. I first took the Savage to the great cathedral of our Ford, 
He was obviously inspired by the deep synthetic reverence of the worshippers, and I believe I was able to explain to him the rudiments of surrogate spirituality and placebic belief. John's tour of a senior kindergarten conditioning school was, under my close guidance, a complete success. Naturally, I couldn't explain all the educational intricacies such as advanced play math to him, but I believe that with my further help, he may well be able to grasp some of the simpler things such as nature nausea reinforcement conditioning. No, why? While the savage was obviously charmed by the primary erotic play class, it did seem to raise a question in his mind. He asked again, where without, without mothers, where the children came from? Now, Mr. Savage, I think you'll find this very interesting. After the embryos are bagged, they come along here for initial model selection. At the moment, we're turning out redesigned deltas. Oh, Juliet, move not. And on thy sweet lips would my soul be purged. Mr. Savage, come along. I want to show you our all-new and fully improved Bakanovsky embryomatic separator. One epsilon unit goes in and out comes 60 reproductions, absolutely identical to the original in every production detail. Come along. But in another, we're actually lengthening it. A megasoma coma is a bit of what the ancients used to call eternity. Eternity? Eternity was in our lips and eyes. You mean that? Not exactly. In any case, Mr. Sam, the first sign is usually a brief reality relapse. Of course, you would stay with us. You're not going to send me back. No! No! Well, only if you wish. You see, Mr. Savage, here in our world, you may do anything you wish, be anything you wish, have anything you wish. Yes, and have anyone you wish. Oh, no. well, it's just a thought, but maybe if you went away somewhere, somewhere far away. Well, I mean, it is sad, a man who's given so much to so many out like that. the door. Glad to get rid of them. Bang out the... <laughs> Do you realize I, I culturally had to come to grips with that? And, and then things like, this is an embarrassing one, but I, I remember the time we had a teenage American girl staying with us. We had a little baby at the time and I was trying to be nice to her and I said, ah, oh, would you like to nurse our baby? <laughs> then I said, I'd breastfeed the baby. <laughs> Maybe she thought we Australian males were the superior race after all, you know. <laughs> Hey, by the way, do you get the point? You can say the same words and they mean different things in a different culture. You know what, friends? We have to come to grips with this. In our Christianized Western world, we've lost the Christian basis. It's a different culture and we have a problem. We have a problem that most of the church doesn't recognize. You see